It's pretty good. It's a wood dragon. Ooh. I think it's very, very good. Ooh. Guys, the weapons as well. First, we'll have EU. Let's go. Okay, we have... Ooh, very... Oh, shit. That is very good. Is this a roll? Yeah, that, that is very good, Earl. That's a bounty hunter pants. Swan weapons. It does look pretty cool, though. Everything here, the, the colors, the dice, the weapons, too. Abyssal stalker stuff. Okay. I guess you're trying to go for, like, the, uh, you know, I'm from the water. But also, at the same time... I have water powers. Actually, you know what? They are pretty bright. I was gonna say, they, they do are pretty bright compared to the rest of the set, but because it is kind of like a, an aquatic set, it almost looks like they're handling the water uh, with their hands, you know? They're like manipulating the water to create the weapons, which is actually pretty cool, I think. I think it works fine anyways. I think it's, I think it's good. I like it. I think it's, I think it's very good. I think it's very, very good. Next we have Tsute. All right, ooh. Interesting. Another dragon set with the legendary variants from Mortemoth. The colors are very well done here. Very, very well done. Um, um, the, the, the mask is interesting. I'm not sure. Man, we're really having a lot of people with the bounty hunter pants. I guess it does feel very draconic. I think the colors, these colors are not easy to do. The teal and brown go together so nice. Yeah, they do. And like, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy to make um, the Mortemoth weapon uh, actually match with your colors because, like, there's so many, right? There's it has so many, and even the, the look they put even put teal on this bottom part here. It would have a nice a little more teal on the chest part, but I think it works out regardless. I think it's very very good. Um, I really like it. I really like it. It's definitely very good. We have another one. Ooh, with the actual dragon uh, headpiece. They're, gonna, they're an ice dragon. Oh, nice. They're going for this like very white, icy kind of color. And then the pants are just kind of there. I don't know, you know, they're, they're kind of like a bit, you know, unfitting to the rest of the set, I think. And I think you could have definitely bring that color in a little bit on other parts, but because it's only the, it's the only part that has that black and, and blue, I think it's a bit, I think it doesn't work at all. Yeah, that's actually a big brain idea here. Cause yeah, you can yeah you you can make the tail look bluish just like you know the rest of the set. It's a very good idea, very good idea. I do think if you can actually dye the Sorak pants, I think it would have been nice to go for a little bit more whitish to match up the rest. But yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, not bad though, not bad. And then we have a Mesmelo. Ooh, little tiny dragon. I love how the the dragon's head is like huge. It, I think it's. Man, this, you know what this looks like? It looks like a very young dragon. They decide to impress their parents in an adventure and they actually succeed and, and save the world, actually. Ooh, ooh, with the legendary Gen 2 mace and, and no, it's not never. Well, whatever. Legendary 2 mace as well. That's cool. And the molten shield. That looks cool, dude. I love that. I like that more than the staff. I like that more, way more than the staff. I think it was awesome. I think maybe the only problem that is because you're a guardian, you have the like ages there. But you know what? Ages sucks anyways, you know, like fuck, you know. I will accept it regardless. I think it looks very, very nice. These are the top five EU players. And we have the winner, as you can see here, Promoters Jungling with four boats, more than champion with three boats, John Max Descendant with zero points, and Zoan Champions with two. Honestly, I think I agree. I actually might have actually, I think personally, I think Suwon Champion is on the same level as Mortemoth. Any one of them could win. But man, the little guy is so cute, it deserves a fucking win. But there you go. Third, fourth place is gonna go to uh, the Jormag Champion. I think it looks pretty cool. But I think, as we said before, the, the bands maybe too jarring. The rest of the pieces are very cool. Some of them actually earnable in the game as well, which I really appreciate. Very, very good job. Third place, of course, and this one, um, you know, it kind of gets a bit hard because honestly, Swan's champion really works very well here, and Mortemoth also. But very good job, Irel. I think your pieces are awesome as well. Very good one. I really, I really like it. Very, very good job. And of course, we have second place, uh, the Mortemoth champion. Very, very good job as well. All the pieces very draconic. All the colors very Mortemothy. So very, very good job. The number one, Miss Milo with the beautiful Primordius Youngling. Oh my god, I just, I love the idea of it. Very original, very, very original. 
with an actual very hard weapon to get, you know, the Eureka weapon. So very, very good job. Now it's time for an A. First, we have a Trent with spice, super spicy curry. Hmm. The head work makes it cool for me. I agree. I think the head really makes that whole thing kind of work. Most, yeah, because like it's almost like it's growing out of them. Uh, especially with the hair, right? I think the only piece that I don't particularly like here is the chest. I think the decade chest is maybe a bit... It just doesn't really go with the colors here, I don't think. But I think it looks nice. I think it's nice. All right, next one. Ooh, a coffee drinking dragon. Kind of based. I, I like... I, he's a casual dragon, guys. He's a casual dragon. Oh, but once the coffee's done, he's ready for battle. Okay, look at that. The Gear was one, a fiery we uh, weapon, a great sword. I mean, not sword, my bad. It's an interesting one, actually. And I really like the combination of these two weapons. You know, the shield, the jade shield, I mean, axe, and then the fiery weapon. I mean, you are kind of like a dragon, so it makes sense that you would be fiery, right? And because you have a little bit of golden everywhere here, it kind of works out anyways. Um, I think it looks nice. Ooh, interesting. All right. That is, this is, more, this is like a swan scholar. They do have like a dragon face, right? It's more like a, you know, kind of Asian type of dragon, of course. I honestly think it's very cool. It's the Defender of Suwon, guys. I actually think this is awesome. I think it's a very, very good set and very original too. Okay. I mean, I do like the set, but I'm not sure if it's very dragony. Am I wrong here, guys? Ooh, that weapon though. Oh, <laughs> that's a good weapon. It is like more than a dragon, it is more like a dragon slayer. I, I think. Going for the champion of Rakar, look at what the Rakar looks like. Yeah, I mean, Rakar does look like a little bit like this for sure. But yeah, but it's still a very good job. Still a very good job. Uh, Maeva Wormfang, all right. This is, this is uh, interesting. I very much like it. Maeva Wormfang, Cave Dragon, Mayor of Wyrm Cory Manning Town. See, guys? Yeah, they started as an accountant, ended up as a mayor. <laughs> I really like the necrotic weapon as well there. It actually goes well with your set. It's a very original idea. And did you look like a dragon? Mostly because of the, you know, the head, of course. I think overall, looks pretty good. Inca Ivanombra. From Bite. They can read it today. And they brought an insanely good set piece. I mean, a set. Ooh, all right. They really do look like a dragon. I really like the, um, you know, the shoulders. I like the chest as well. The Oni hands as well. No, Oniris or Oni? I think it's Oni. I think it's Oni hands, yeah, yeah. Decade pants. Pe decade, decade pants are really popular today. The little backpack, those little tiny wings. Man, that's such an interesting, it's like a different type of breed of dragon, right? It's, it's kind of what she's going for. This very, very slim dragon. And I don't think it's easy to make the Silvari dragon look well. I think it's very, very good. Very original too. They are like a vampire dragon. I really like it. I really like the, the pieces. I think it's... I like the colors too, because this kind of path doesn't really happen that much, usually. Ooh. That's interesting. All right. Very interesting set here. With the sanctified weapons. I guess it's sanct It's a sanctified dragon. It is It is a sanctified web dragon. This guy is going to come into your house, you know, uh, on Sunday morning knock and be like do you have you heard about the dragon church they even have the backpack you know the uh the church backpack i like the scales here right same with the pants of course chest and pants from the same set and wreck him uh boot as well it's interesting i think i really like the colors very good set i very much like it good job yeah i think it's also awesome. very good oh sky skull sky skull weapons as well Holy, those are those are hard to get. They're not easy. They're very low drop rate on convergences. Yeah, I think it, it is. No, 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 don't get me wrong. This is not easy. But doing this was not easy. Uh, I think it's it's fucking hard. But holy fuck, I think it's awesome. I think it's very good. Very good job. That's definitely gonna be a winner, bro. Ooh, this is, okay. I like. I mean, I like it. I like it. But I'm not... It's almost like uh, I don't know. I don't know if I completely believe that it's a dragon, you know? 
I feel like it has too much, you know, Silvari skin to... For me to be like, yes, it's 100% a dragon. Am I crazy here? The, the color does blend pretty well. But I think because the head is so big, and this part is so on, you know, like, uh, it's kind of like, you know, you can uh, a Silvari, so you kind of slim. Especially the pants and the backpack, you know, the, um, the water dragon backpack. The weapon also very... The tag weapon also looks pretty cool, I think. It looks... It does look like a fairy dragon. Yeah, like a fey dragon. Which is very cool, though. It, it, it is pretty cool. Deadly Whiskers, Elliot. Okay. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of those guys from the... Uh, the for, the Sense Fortress. Yeah, these guys. I don't know why. It does. It, it, am I crazy? I do think this set kind of has the same issue that this one had. I think the, the head is like a bit too big for the rest of the set, I think, or for the body. I think it's very good. I think it's I think it's good. I, I think the other ones are a bit better, I think. Uh, but I do think it's nice. I think it's good. I think it's still pretty good. Next one. Ooh. Why do I feel like she's judging me? And why do I feel like it's a she? Oh. Whoa, she is. She is judging me. I'm scared. Whoa! Those arms are awesome. Those arms are very good, yeah. Oh my god! Yeah! You have the Su on side and the Pramorda side. So, you have the essentially water fire dragon here. It's not easy. And I think you did a very good job at it. Very good set. Very, very good set. I, I really like it. Okay, Omega. It's a wood dragon. I love it. It does look like you're a dragon, right? It does look like overall you, you are literally a dragon, right? Um, yeah. It's it's always um, a game of how much you're showing versus how much you're hiding to make the illusion in your head that you're actually a dragon, not just a Silvari with a dragon head. I think you did a very good job at that. Very good job. I really like the idea too. I don't think anyone has gone for like a wooden dragon. Yeah, I think it's nice. I think it's good. I think it's good. Ooh, Desert Dragon. This is Desert Dragon. The other one's this is War Dragon. This is actually the Desert Dragon. Ooh, I really like that. Oh, man. You really made your fur look like it's part of your scaly skin somehow. Very good job. The dyes here, the change of the color of the skin really makes it work very well here. I really like the uh, chain, uh, the leather strap uh, chest and pants here. I really like the shoulders, how they like kind of hide uh, a little bit of the skin. It's not as like revealing, but at the same time, it still shows your skin. I think it's a very good set. This is gonna be very hard. I, I don't need everyone is in the top 10, bro. Like, it's over in the top five. It's fucking over. It's so fucking over, dude. These are the top five NA players. Fifth place, very interesting, actually. I kind of disagree with this, but Chad has decided goes to Sky Skill Dragon. I think your set is actually awesome. Fourth place is gonna go to the Bronze Time Dragon. Ooh, and it's a very, very original concept. I really like it. Third place is gonna go to Fire and an Ice Dragon. Honestly, in, in third place here, they're all very, very good uh, here. It, it could have gone to any of them. Honestly, this set is absolutely great. Very, very good combination. Very, very cool pieces. Third place, very good job. And second place is gonna go to Sanctified, as you have voted, guys. And here, honestly, as I said, I think it's very, very tight. I mean, it's a great set. I don't know what to say. Uh, I, I don't have any criticism here. Of course, for the first place, Vampiric Dragon Sega. As honestly, it's not only very original, but it also gives me the same sense of man. They are just a Dragon Knight. Now, the best of all the regions will fight against each other to get one real winner from one region. Starting out here on the left side, with the Sanctified set win against the Jorma, uh, against the uh, Suwon set. The Vampiric set against the Mortal Moth was set that's actually very good. Vampiric set winning as well. Then on this side, Vampiric and Sanctified very close together as well, winning in here. And then Bronze uh, Dragon almost taking the win against Draconic, uh, I mean Vampiric set. Uh, on NA, even though they were the fourth one, and this was the first one on uh, first one on NA side, and then and then on the the right side, and the mental dragon uh, losing against your mag, uh, the sky scale dragon losing against the well uh, promoter swap, and then the promoter swap coming in at the top to the grand final, you know, dragon grand final, uh, the well 
winning overall and giving EU the win. Very good job. Everyone then came in today, guys. And uh, yeah, definitely go check it out Saturdays. I'll leave you guys with that in the Discord. I'll tell you there exactly the time when it starts. But it, of course, is Saturday morning for an A. And uh, I guess it's midday for you. So very good job, everyone. Very, very, very good job.